I saw like this video of a house burning in Nigeria. Instead of them to go call firefighter or get water, pour the house, made the thing burn. They gathered and started firing prayer on the house. What are you praying for? Are you praying for Holy Ghost fire? The house is already on fire, so what is the Holy Ghost fire coming, coming to do? Burn the house more? I was born a Christian by default. Well, you know, like coming from Nigeria, there's a couple of religions. We have Christianity, we have Islam, then we have some other traditional um, religions. But for me, by default, I was a Christian because my dad is a pastor and um, my whole family, they, they were either Catholics or, you know, Protestants. As a preacher's child that's from Nigeria, Christianity is definitely a weapon. So um, this can serve as a good thing or as a bad thing. When I started like traveling or um, started getting a little bit of money, I want to travel somewhere. You come and tell your people that you want to go to this place. Before you know it, there is a vision that this is going to happen. It's a dream, how you died in an accident or something. It's never like a good dream. It's one of these things that weaponize that, you know, knowing where you come from is now, that fear is now in your head that you don't want to go and do this. Now you come and cancel that. So this has happened to me a lot. This has happened to my brother. I'm pretty sure it happened to my sisters. So you're doing all of this as a Christian child, or you're not doing any of this as a Christian child, but you see all these people who don't believe in Christ, who are doing exactly the same thing, but they are fine. Nothing has happened to them. Why is their own case any special? In Nigeria, I think there are definitely a lot of people who are called, but there are people who are definitely not called. Christianity is now being used as a money-making business, which is why every corner you go has a church. Everybody wait on, go find work, tire. Before you know it, they don't open church. And then they start to collect offering. And the church will start growing. Some of them, they even pull hands for things that are not good, like do juju or something like that to get members. You know, they go a long way just to make sure that they have members that will be paying tight. And they use tithing as another weapon pay your 10%. If you don't pay your tithe, you're robbing God, robbing the household of God. And you know, canker worms and caterpillars will come and take your income and everything. And before, before you know what is going on, it's like you have that fear 